as I told you that Andy Cronje, they're gonna take this huge initiative for the founder project right now. Then he's gonna already announce the release of the Ocean NFT marketplace. This is good, but I see the huge potential much on right here. Why? Because right. So here's my portfolio strategy. So I only recommend assets that are Bitcoin and all the other open features related to these seven categories. Then if you want a deeper understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. And here's my video link, okay? Yeah, today's, you know, phantom matching categories here, number six, burst. And also they provide a cross-chain transaction system. So number seven, blockchain interoperability, also personal related to their project, okay? Then as usual, I'm gonna apply the six and a five points to stand for the pain points product, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30 point, 30. And if you want a deeper understanding about my, how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link, okay? Then here's my total score updates about the Phantom project. So July 2021, my total score is 23.0 point. Then this time, October 2021, my total score update to 26.0 point. Then these red mark area here, I'm gonna update the score. And from here, I'm gonna tell you the reasons, okay? Then let's start for the paper analysis. There is no, analysis. There is no updates, but I can briefly explain about the, these two pain points related to Phantom. First one, this one. The layer two technology is on critical demands for the DAS because of the higher gas fee on the Ethereum platform. First of all, BAS project like Ethereum played a critical role to realize massive market growth on the blockchain space. To help you understand this point, we got a great analogy from the internet. It's this one, competing Big Bang. So from 2006 to 2007, we're gonna experience this massive application market growth. Bus project, their context, pretty similar to the Amazon AWS. Because before the Amazon AWS, every single developer have to rent a data center solution to run the application on the internet. Usually you have to pay. Usually you have to pay three thousand or five thousand dollars per month as a minimum level, pretty expensive one. But what amazing that's by Amazon AWS, they only charge minutes or second base one. So if your initial user base is pretty small one, such as hundred users or so, you only need to pay thirty dollars or fifty dollars per month. It's much much cheaper than data center solutions. That is why a lot of lots of developers start to develop their own application on top of AWS especially for the smartphone applications. The bars play a similar role for the you know, blockchain space still. Because in the blockchain space, you have to aggregate those you know, competing resources in a decentralized model. For the DApps player perspective, it's really, really tough work. Bars player, they're gonna aggregate those competing resources in a decentralized model instead of DApps player. That's why we're gonna experience this huge application growth on the blockchain space with the invention for the BOSS system. The fast player is, of course, Ethereum. But because of the success of Ethereum, we got a huge problem right now. It's a DApps congestion. This data from 2019, but we can learn many things from this graph. So orange one is a pure market capitalization of each bus project, and blue one is a total aggregation market cap of the old DApps application running on each platform. As you can see, DApps congestion happening here on Ethereum. Because of these congestions, what we're facing right now is this one, gas fee problem. So Ethereum platform transformed consistent algorithm from proof of work based one like Bitcoin to proof of stake based one since December 2020. The major purpose of this transformation to decrease their gas fee. But even after these transformations, gas fee for the Ethereum is still increasing like this way. Then now the price itself is much more expensive than Bitcoin, as you can see here. It's a huge problem for this industry. Then one of the great you know, solutions currently we have a huge pay attention to well, we're gonna see the huge potential out there is layer two technology. Their concept is actually a pretty simple one. Here's layer one, both, so it's Ethereum. For the DApps player perspective, Ethereum gas fee is pretty expensive. That is why we're gonna develop the layer two technology here. Then on top of the layer technology, DApps player running their own applications. Layer technology to minimize the usage of the Ethereum 
which has pretty high gas fee issue here. So that is why we're gonna see, you know, this layer two technology played a critical role here to save the high gas fee issue on the Ethereum platform. Okay. Since you know this solution gets a huge popularity on the market, that is why a lot of you know layer two player is coming from the market right now, such as Immutable X focus on NFT or Arbitrum focus on DeFi space. The Phantom also taking layer two technology solutions on top of Ethereum platform, especially focus on cross chain transactions. Okay. Then point, point number two, multi chain DeFi now needs cross chain blitz solutions. Look at here, this is a multi chain DeFi adaptation as of on October two thousand twenty one. Dex, stablecoin, lending, asset, insurance, and NFT marketplace these days. Then, as you can see here, all the DeFi players here, starting from Uniswap, or DAI, or Aave, Wi-Fi, starting from Ethereum platform. But since we are facing gas fee issue on the Ethereum platform, that is why they are expanding other chain to run their business, such as Binance Smart Chain, Swanner, AVAX, Flow, Harmony One, Polygon, FTM, Aave, Immutable X, and Optimism. Then because of this multi-chain adaptation of the ecosystem, now we are moving to the next stage, is a cross-chain transactions. Good example is this one, WBTC. So as we know, WBTC TVL is rapidly growing up these days. Currently it's 13 billion as of October 2021. It's huge growth. Then why these players who are gonna make money on WBTC wants to have the cross-chain transactions? Good example is this one, Wi-Fi budget out WBTC bot. Here, there is a crystal clear reason that why Butcher prefer cheaper gas fee platform to run their transactions. Because Butcher want to maximize APY for the WBTC products with a cheaper gas fee blockchain. That is why they want to cross chain liquidity such as DAI on Binance Smart Chain and USDC on AVAX. These in a cross chain transaction help them these asset player can minimize the gas fee model not fully rely on the Ethereum platform, then they can maximize the API for the customer. Okay, so that is why crossing transactions these days getting pretty hot, and Phantom is also the major player in this crossing space. Okay, then number two, proc analysis. So this is a system over with Phantom. Again, they are layer two player. They are connected to other layer one technology player here, such as Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Thrana. Phantom itself is a public blockchain, and also they're gonna apply the DPS model like Swana. Okay? Then, as usual, value composition analysis. So, Phantom here, then these are the major layer 2 players on the blockchain space, such as Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Immutable X. Then, most of the closest competitor for the Phantom is Polygon. Then, one of the critical edge for the Phantom compared with Polygon is here, liquid staking. Let me explain about this one. First thing I want you to understand here is a long-term issue, staking dilemma over the Ethereum platform. As I told you that, Ethereum applied a proof-of-stake model, which means that there is a staking reward based on the proof-of-stake model. Then these are then a reward rule on the Ethereum 2.0. So lower number of Ethereum staking can get the higher return here. Seemingly pretty attractive one, but there are a lot of constraints, such as this one. Require a minimum 32 ETH as a minimum level. Also, local period, 18 months. During the 18 months moment, you cannot do anything to make money by using your Ethereum token. It's huge pain points. Because once we look at the Ethereum platform, there are a variety of DeFi options here to make money. Good example, Yam Finance, Convex Finance, CRB Vaults, APY 27.14%. Once you can characterize your ETH token, Aave, and borrow the you know, carbon token or stablecoin or something, and you're gonna deposit these in a token into the Yarn Finance, you can make money in this one. Then one of the edge of the Yarn Finance, you can withdraw your assets into the platform anytime you want. There's no local video on the Ethereum platform on the staking solutions. But to maintain higher trusted decentralized network, Ethereum platform itself achieve higher staking ratio on their ecosystem. That is why they are in the dilemma right now. I already came up with an you know, innovative idea almost one year ago, is WE model. Once you're gonna join the Ethereum 2.0 staking model here, the Ethereum platform issue the synthetic assets, WE tokens, then you can use this E token here on DeFi. That's the concept of the liquid staking. Then Phantom is the first player to apply liquid staking solutions, SFDM. Here's the explanations. 
So on up to 30% APY. So stick as you go earns around 4% APY on your capital up to 30% for one year commitment for staking. It's great. Then here's the additional item, unlock liquidity. On Phantom, your delegated ATM gives you SFTM, a synthetic asset you can use within the Phantom DeFi ecosystem. It's a great advantage for Phantom to compete with other layer to technology, right? Then, you know, since Adi J is getting involved in the Phantom ecosystem, so Wi-Fi already started multi-chain support for the Phantom because Wi-Fi can build pretty competitive products by leveraging these SFTM solutions. But this liquid staking market is rapidly growing right now. Good example is Rido. Rido also provides these liquid staking solutions for other layer one technologies such as Ethereum, Terra, and Solana. But since the Phantom is a fast mover about liquid staking solutions, they can take the certain level of market advantage right now. That's one thing I want you to understand here. Okay? Then the other item what I want to pay attention to is central scrub and decentralized scrub. So once we're gonna think about the central scrub computing system, they mainly have three components: transaction system, storage system, and analytical system. Okay? Then transaction system process any type of user transactions, such as sending money to someone or send a message to someone. Then storage system store those user history data on the system. Then analysis engine provide search engine solution or recommended engine solution for storage system here. Every single central cloud computing system such as AWS or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure, they have these three components as a minimum level. Then once we get to the decentralized cloud system, bus means actually transaction system. Because blockchain technology is a transaction system. It's not for stress or it's not for analysis engine system here. That is why every single layer one technology, such as Ethereum or Solana Flow, have to scale up storage data here and the analysis engine here. But from the DAPS player perspective, if they have the access to multiple layer here to develop their own applications or run the applications, it's a huge pain point. Then this is exactly what I'm thinking about the high potential about layer 2 technology. As I told you, layer 2 technology play a middleware layer here to support the every single DApps on the virtual space. If the layer 2 technology, such as Phantom or Polygon, they're going to take care of bus transaction here, or storage system here, such as Firecoin or Seer, or another thing such as Graph, from the DApps perspective, it's super easy to use. That's another aspect. I see the potential about the layer 2 technology. But please understand about this point. This model itself is not realized yet. It might happen. Okay? Then number three, team analysis. So here's a key member. And one key update is this one, Ali Kronje. He's a creator and the founder of Young Finance and KP3O. Now he got a full-time involvement for the Phantom as a technical advisor. That is why the team level it's much more powerful one. It's great. Then number four, execution power analysis. So first one, this one, major bus active stats as of October 2021. And currently Phantom is the number fifth player. The number of depths is 42. And the TBL size is 5.25 billion, close to Polygon. Their market cap TBL size is most undervalued one, 1.095. When I analyze these stats, all the time I pay attention to Ethereum stats here, 2.98. So from that perspective, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, it's kind of overvalued, but Phantom is most undervalued compared with Terra and Polygon. Okay? The next one, Cross Chain Bridge Solutions, TVL size. Polygon is the number one, 4.4 billion. And Phantom, they can integrate their software to any swap. Any swap provides cross chain transactions. Then current market cap is 3.8 billion. It's pretty good. Then last item, define multi chain adaptations. Phantom here, and they arrive at Polygon here. Simply say, almost same level about DeFi multi-chain adaptation stuff. Polygon and Phantom, you see here, almost no big difference. Okay, this is also great. Then about DApps, this is a major issue. Once we look at the Polygon, one of the reasons I see the huge potential for the Polygon, they are also pretty good at DeFi as a cross-chain transaction system, but also, they can develop the interesting you know, gaming application or NFT application or DApps application on their platform, which model is pretty similar for the Ethereum. For the success for the BAS project, it doesn't matter about the layer two or layer one, 
the balance between DApps and DeFi is pretty important. And Polygon doing quite well about that point. The one or behind point about the Phantom is DApps. Polygon is much more advanced. But now I see the great potential for the Phantom about DApps opportunity too, because of this. As I told you that Andy Cron J, they're gonna take this huge initiative for the Phantom project right now. Then he's gonna already announce the release of the Arshon NFT marketplace. This is good, but I see the huge potential much on Rarity here. Why? Because Rarity is kind of inspired by Root project on the Ethereum platform. Root has a pretty big potential of a decentralized gaming studio model on a blockchain space. So if you want a deeper understanding about the Root model, please check out my other video about the Root project, talking about the AGLV. Rarity is a pretty similar project. That's why leveraging Andy Crozier's influencing power on blockchain space I think Phantom also made a certain amount of success for the NFT game too. The NFT game is the next big frontier on the NFT space. That's why I also see the big potential for Phantom DApps ecosystem next two to three years. Okay. Then number five, token economy analysis. So it's a token economy design matrix which I made and a major matching category of Phantom here, boss. Then here's the network effect model or the FTM token. So starting point this one. DeFi project and an NFT game developer who wants to use SFTM for DeFi also Rarity for the you know, NFT game with a cheaper gas fee as a layer to technology on the Phantom. This is the first step. Then, then they can achieve active user traffic by attracting Z0 you know, DeFi and NFT game player on the ecosystem. Then with the more you know, active user traffic, they can increase more selection of the DApps and DeFi so they can achieve better customer experiences. This is their DeFi and DApps growth here. And by leveraging this you know, primary growth mechanism, they also add here liquid staking with SFTM. Once they can additionally apply EIP1559 on the Phantom system, they can achieve differential economy effects and also stable DAO governance with this you know, liquid staking solutions. So about DAO and asset growth perspective, also they can provide better customer experiences. This is the most ideal network effect model of the Phantom. Especially once they can apply EIP1559, Phantom become the pretty powerful player on the layer to technology platform because no other player applied EIP1559 model, also liquid staking model yet. That's why. Okay. Now for your reference, this is EIP1559. So it's already went live on August 15, 2021. And as you can see here, with the EIP1559 model, Ethereum already achieved differential economy here. That's pretty big potential at the asset growth perspective. So once Phantom applies this technology here, it's gonna be huge growth, okay? Then next one, benchmark analysis. The one of the biggest benchmark for every single layer two or layer one technology is Amazon AWS. Then my rough calculations, the market cap of the AWS is one trillion dollar. Then Ethereum, another benchmark for the Phantom is 450 billion. Then Phantom here, current market cap is 60 billion. This means Phantom, still has pretty big market potential as a layer 2 technology. For the future growth, NFT game, DeFi, EIP-159 will be the key, okay? Then about governance DAO, of course it's very critical because Ethereum so seriously developing their effective DAO ecosystem. Then since the IT Crown J got involved with the Phantom project, and also he's pretty good at the DAO ecosystem development with the success of the Young Finance, so I see the also pretty big potential about the Phantom DAO ecosystem development too, okay? Number six, hype cycle analysis. So, got the abstract analysis, blockchain technology, 221 versions, and a major matching kind of the Phantom, here. Blockchain pass, blockchain platform, decentralized web, layer 2 technology, DeFi, NFT, decentralized application, and a consensus mechanism, especially SFTA model, liquid staking model. Simply say, Phantom can leverage this multiple momentum on the hype cycle. It's pretty good for them, okay? So, find out the total swap dates. About pain point, no change, 5.0. And about product, I'm gonna update from 3.5 to 4.0. Simply say, last time I analyzed the Phantom, one of the major issues for them is DAPs, especially DeFi and also the NFT. Then these two items, by the leadership of the Andy Cron J, they are so seriously improving right now, so 4.0. About team, I'm gonna update from 3.5 to 4.0. Simply say, Andy Cron J, join the Phantom, this is good. The execution power, I'm gonna update from 3.0 to 
Look at the Trashos as a cross chain bleach solutions, integration with any swap. Phantom is the number two player in the cross chain bleach. They're about also the major defined montage adaptations. Phantom almost a similar level as Polygon. Then now they have Larity and the STM defined model here. Their execution power is getting improved these days, so 4.0. The token economy, I'm gonna update from 4.0 to 4.5. Simply say, from the proof of stake governance model, liquid staking solution with the SFT model has a huge potential. They now they have a lot of DeFi application on top of the platform, so 4.0. Okay? Then hype cycle, I'm gonna update from 4.0 to 4.5. As I told you previous slide, they can leverage multiple market momentum, especially the influence and power of the Andy Crown J. So 4.5. So the total score is 26.0 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in Phantom Token FTM. Then if you got any kind of questions with this video, please think about joining my premium membership program, live Q&A sessions. So every week, I'm gonna hold a live Q&A session with my member. And then there, I can answer you any kind of questions with this video or any other video that I made. Then I know you're busy, so you can post your question in advance. Then during the live Q&A sessions, I can answer your questions. And then later, you can check out the recorded video. Okay, so for more detail, please check out my other video. And here's my video, link, okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of sustainable investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.